RealPAR's business is the sponsor of this video. Want to train your engineers and technicians while reducing downtime? Visit realparts.com business. Fill out the form, and we'll get back to you in just a few minutes. Whether you know it or not, most of us take advantage of the cloud at least once per day. You probably use the cloud to send and receive email messages. If you have a smart thermostat, you use the cloud to set and check the temperature in your home. You may have ever watchful surveillance cameras mounted above your home's front door. Those are just three examples. There are dozens more. Okay, we're being silly, but can you still send and receive emails and see an intruder if the sky is clear and there are no clouds? The term cloud in this context does not refer to an actual cloud in the sky. In this video, we'll discuss the cloud and explain cloud computing. We'll also illustrate the importance of cloud computing in Industry 4.0 and its benefits for industrial processes. We'll also introduce you to cloud models and some key players in cloud services. Let's start by discussing the cloud. We don't want to burst your bubble, but the cloud refers to physical devices called servers loaded with software and databases. These cloud servers are accessed via the internet. So, simply stated, no internet, no cloud. Cloud servers are physically located in brick and mortar data center facilities. Why is it called the cloud? The term cloud originated from early network diagrams, where a cloud shaped symbol represented the internet. If you think about it, you can't see objects or things behind an actual cloud in the sky. Similarly, the cloud symbol and network diagrams hid the complexity of the underlying network, leaving the end user unconcerned with its inner workings. Users would engage with the services and data they require without understanding the network's intricate details. This abstraction was later adopted to describe modern cloud computing, in which users access data and applications hosted on remote servers via the internet. All right, we just mentioned cloud computing. Let's explore that term a little more. Cloud computing delivers services like storage and processing over the internet instead of local hardware. There's the rub. Using cloud computing, end users don't have to manage physical servers or run software applications on their own local computers. It's like an outsourcing, where end users rely on remote servers and services hosted by third-party providers for computing tasks such as data storage, processing, and running applications. It's a bit of an oversimplification, but all you need is access to the internet. One common domestic application of a basic cloud computing service is cloud-based storage and backup services like Google Drive or iCloud. Why use valuable space on your PC hard drive or smartphone memory to store photos, documents, videos, and other personal files when you can store them on the cloud? Google will also handle and store all your emails, saving valuable hard drive space on your PC. Cloud computing has become an essential part of IoT and Industry 4.0, which relies heavily on data and connectivity. We've already mentioned how cloud computing has infiltrated the domestic IoT world, facilitating the use of smart devices like thermostats and surveillance cameras. Cloud computing is also used in the industrial IoT. It enables smart sensors and machines to connect, share, and process data in real time, making it invaluable in manufacturing and automation. Cloud computing has many benefits for industrial processes, but one of them is the ability to perform data analytics. This allows the analysis of large data sets for insights into improving efficiency and predicting equipment failure and maintenance needs, thus reducing downtime. Let's look at an example of where cloud computing is used in predictive maintenance and manufacturing. A typical industrial manufacturing plant has several electrical motors performing various tasks. Motor failure results in downtime and lost productivity. Predictive maintenance via cloud computing algorithm analysis is invaluable. Measured motor vibration via an accelerometer sensor is analyzed to predict potential motor failure before it occurs. The accelerometer collects vibration data sent to the cloud, where advanced algorithms analyze patterns and deviations from normal operating conditions. 
By detecting anomalies, the system can predict when a motor will likely fail, allowing maintenance teams to address the issue proactively. This minimizes failure-forced downtime, optimizes maintenance schedules, extends the lifespan of the motors, and in the long run, improves plant efficiency and reduces costs. High-speed database communication has revolutionized industrial automation as real-time process analysis and control is now a reality. Automation companies like Omron provide high-speed database communication-enabled controllers like the NX502, designed to process critical data rapidly. This capability plays a key role in supporting predictive maintenance by enabling quick and efficient data analysis. If you want to learn more about programming Omron PLCs and get a certificate from Omron, visit realpars.com courses or check out the link in the video description. Let's discuss third-party cloud computing providers and the services they provide for Industry 4.0. Keep in mind that these services are not free. Amazon Web Services, or AWS, provide secure connections and interaction between industrial devices and cloud applications. It also offers machine learning services for predictive maintenance and production optimization. Microsoft Azure connects, monitors, and manages industrial IoT devices. Like AWS, Azure supports artificial intelligence, or AI, predictive maintenance and production process improvements. Google Cloud offers data collection services and real-time analysis. It also provides AI and machine learning models for predictive analytics and automation. Okay, let's review. The cloud refers to physical devices called servers loaded with software and databases. Cloud servers are accessed via the internet. Cloud servers are physically located in brick and mortar data center facilities. The term cloud originated from early network diagrams where cloud-shaped symbol represented the internet. Cloud computing delivers services like storage and processing over the internet instead of local hardware. Using cloud computing, end users do not have to manage physical servers or run software applications on their own machines. Cloud computing enables smart sensors and machines to connect, share, and process data in real time making it invaluable in manufacturing and automation. Cloud computing providers include Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud.